for Russians. It doesn't get any better than this. Hockey in Red Square. This event meant to kick off 100 days this week till the World Hockey Championships here in Moscow. They haven't seen that tournament here in nine years. And guess who won the World Championships last year in Prague? Canada, of course. And now loose in front, Crosby spins and scores! It wasn't even close. Sidney Crosby helped Canada outscore the Russian team 6-1. to one. For Russia, a humiliating defeat for Canada, its first win at the world since 2007. Now it's 99 days till the great hockey rivalry resumes. And a few of hockey greats came out last night. Vladislav Tretiak the tepid shot on goal for the cameras only. The great Russian goalie is head of Russia's Hockey Federation, a legend and a beguiling interview too. I'm from Canada. Who will win this year? The hockey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wise man. We would like to play Canada and Russia final. Oh, I like it. <laughs> the Olympics and the Stanley Cup are bigger bills, but a gold at the world still a large part of national pride. Last night's pickup game featured a roster of former Russian players, mostly from the KHL, a few NHLers, including Alexei Yashin, eight seasons with the Ottawa Senators, now retired back in Moscow. World hockey comes back to Moscow. Are you excited? I think the whole nation is excited, and uh, hockey is a big uh, sport in Russia. It's uh, very popular, a lot of fans. It's going to be a classic matchup. The games won't be here at Red Square, of course. Moscow's built a brand new arena just for the World Championships. And with all the controversy surrounding Russian sport these days and doping and the president's politics, a win in the world's would be especially sweet for Russians. They just have to get by those Canadians. Susan Olmsted, CBC News, Moscow.